Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. In this presentation, I will give you a basic introduction to aromaticity. You will learn how to identify aromatic compounds using Huckel's rule. I am Aditya Vardhan from adichemistry.com, Warangal. Let us jump into the topic and understand it step by step. Let us start with the question, what is aromaticity? Aromaticity is the enhanced stability due to delocalization of electrons in cyclic, planar, conjugated pi electron systems. Our task now is to identify aromatic compounds using Huckel's rule. According to this rule, any cyclic planar unsaturated compound with 4n plus 2 number of pi electrons that are delocalized along the periphery of the ring in a cyclic loop is aromatic. Let us understand this rule step by step with examples so you can recognize aromatic compounds easily. Here n can be any whole number including 0 that means n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The expression 4n plus 2 is referred to as Huckel's number. When n is equal to 0, 4n plus 2 is equal to 2. It is a Huckel number. When n is equal to 1, 4n plus 2 is equal to 6 and another Huckel number. When n is equal to 2, 4n plus 2 is equal to 10 another Huckel number. So the series of Huckel numbers is 2, 6, 10, 14, 18 and so on. These numbers are very important for deciding whether a compound is aromatic or not. Remember for a compound to be aromatic it must be cyclic, planar and have delocalized pi electrons arranged in a closed loop. Now let us walk through a few examples. The first one is benzene. Benzene is a cyclic planar compound. It has three alternate double bonds making the system conjugated. So the pi electrons can be delocalized in a closed loop. Remember each double bond contains two pi electrons. Since there are three double bonds the total number of pi electrons is 6 and 6 is a Huckel number. Therefore, benzene is an aromatic compound. The second example is ethylene. It is also cyclic and planar molecule. There are 5 alternate double bonds. That means there are 10 pi electrons and since 10 is a Huckel number, ethylene is also an aromatic compound. This is another interesting example, cyclopentadienyl anion. So it is also cyclic and planar and there are two double bonds in conjugation with each other as well as uh, with the negative charge. So there are two double bonds equal into two four pi electrons and also there is a negative charge that contributes two pi electrons. Hence the total of pi electrons is equal to six and you know it is a Huckel number and cyclopentadienyl anion is aromatic in nature. Now let us look at cyclobutadiene. It is also a cyclic and planar molecule. There are two double bonds in conjugation which gives a total of four pi electrons but four is not a Huckel number. So cyclobutadiene is not aromatic. 
in fact it is said to be an anti aromatic compound which means it is highly unstable you will learn more about anti aromaticity in your higher classes now look at this molecule 13 cyclohexadiene it is a six membered cyclic and planar molecule like benzene however it has only two alternate double bonds that are in conjugation the number of pi electrons is 4 which is not a huckel number therefore it is non aromatic now comes the question why not anti aromatic cyclobutadiene which also has four pi electrons is said to be anti aromatic so why do we call 13 cyclohexadiene non aromatic instead let us compare both the molecules both are cyclic and planar with two alternate double bonds in conjugation there are four pi electrons yet 13 cyclohexadiene is non aromatic while cyclobutadiene is anti aromatic it is because in 13 cyclohexadiene there is no closed loop of delocalized pi electrons the conjugation does not extend across the ring hence it is non aromatic in contrast cyclobutadiene has a fully delocalized loop of pi electrons forming a closed conjugate system hence it is classified as anti aromatic Let us now compare aromatic compounds with anti-aromatic compounds. Both are cyclic and planar, but in aromatic compounds there are four n plus two pi electrons which are delocalized, forming a closed conjugated system. In case of anti-aromatic compounds, there are only four n pi the localized electrons forming a closed conjugator system in both the cases closed conjugator systems are formed because of delocalization of electrons in a cyclic loop but in aromatic compounds there are 4n plus 2 pi electrons in anti aromatic compounds there are 4n pi electrons so because of this aromatic compounds are highly stable whereas anti aromatic compounds are very unstable and the rest of compounds that do not fit into above definitions are non aromatic they may or may not be cyclic or planar there may be any number of delocalized pi electrons but do not form a closed conjugator loop not much stable or unstable that's all for now don't forget to like share and subscribe you can find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section if you find it difficult to reach them don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section or drop an email at adikimadi at gmail.com